All right, it's happening, guys. I'm opening up some Pokemons. Some Pokemons! And that is because I've ran into some Topps cards that I really don't run into that often. I am used to running into the Topps cards where they're like Rainbow or Silver Ray, or they are just a regular hollow with no special effects to them. I've recently run into two boxes. I just ordered them. The first one has the special bubble effect on it, and it bubbles, and a little bubble bubbles are, and the other one is the raindrop effect. I don't think it's as cool. I like the bubble effect one like crazy, though. Big fan of these. I've got two boxes over here. I think I'm just going to open up this one box, though. I want the bubble effect one, and we're just going to pop these babies open. That's right. You're going to watch me open up a box of Topps cards for myself. I've got a hankering. Do you guys like the Topps cards? We offer a lot of Topps cards in our live stream, and I provided, oh, here it is, Spiro, Spiro. I've offered the Topps cards in my live stream all this time. Spiro's not a very good one. Even if he grades 10, he will go for like $100, $120. I think you can grade these with CGC now. So it's a temptation because if any of these were to grade like, I don't know, perfect 10 or pristine 10 with CGC, might be able to charge a special price on them. You know what I mean? And then the 9.5, I don't know, you can, I guess you can send the 9.5s off to PSA. Maybe it evens out. But let's get these bad boys, these puppies open. You ready? So what we got on this one? Ooh, War Turtle. So we got War Turtle here. Now I'm sure along the way, we're going to pull some non-hollow Charizards. And I will want to grade all of those as well. Man, I hate this. It catches on the sleeve. And I'm worried when that happens that it is going to damage the card. It's so annoying when that happens. The penny sleeve catches the card itself. So far, it's looking really good. All right, so we got we got lots of bulk. And this bulk is fantastic as well. What you notice on the bulk, check this out. That is a red logo, red tops logo. I'm just going to grade all of it. You guys know my motto is just grade everything. And so even if, even if it's like maybe the uh, grading companies are really expensive right now, I just hold it, wait for it to get older. I love card collecting. I think it's a fantastic way to build wealth. I know it sounds crazy, but what do you think the rich people do with fine art? And I would argue this is the fine art for young people. And we won't be buying the Mona Lisa. We'll be buying the Mona Charizard. Mom, I want the Charizard. There's Wiggly Tough. She's pretty good. She will cost more than a Spiro, but she's not like a top tier pull. Some cards are really top tier out of this set. Uh, Pikachu, Charizard, Blastoise, Beanizor, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, that kind of stuff, right? Charmander does pretty good. So he's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, a Caterpie. I just had a Caterpie earlier. Ooh, lovely, man. So lovely. All right, so he needs a sleeve. See that? Now, I know you guys are waiting for me to pull that Charizard so I can scream like a girl. Oh, my God. Energy. We did it. Let's grab this here. Ooh. I don't have any music playing in the background for you guys. I didn't feel like it. I am determined to grab myself a Charizard out of here. I want one. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, there we go, Squirtle. Beautiful Squirtle. Now you can tell this one has no shot at a 10 because it actually has a problem going on in the center of the card. So that'll be a nine, maybe an eight. And uh, that's a big bummer, you know, because this whole box cost me quite a bit. And with it costing so much, um, you kind of got to be able to recoup your costs, right? Because you got the grading fee. So, you know, when you think of cards in terms of their post-grading value, you've forgotten that. First, you got to pay a thousand bucks to grade it. <laughs> you paid a thousand bucks for the box. So, cards better be selling. Or else it is not a financial decision. It is a hobby. What do we got here? Zubat, Bellsprout. I'm looking like a Bellsprout here, guys. Or well, I hope this is a box with the Charizard. You know, a box might not have a Charizard in it. This Zubat has a nicked corner up there. It's too bad. So that is going to stop him from grading 10. Beautiful, though. Really nice looking. 
Some of the cards are just in better condition. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. What do we got here? Kakuna from that one episode with the Kakunas. I haven't quite figured this out because I haven't been paying that much attention. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be it. Oh, looking clean. Beautiful Kakuna. Kakuna, use Harden. My Kakuna can only get so hard. All right, I have something interesting that I'm working on manufacturing, uh, and that would be booster pack holders. They're going to be plastic holders, magnetic, you know, those things you have developed in China. But I got a nice big round of them being developed, and uh, they'll be shipped over here. Is that sticking? All right. Oh, this one's sticking a little bit, too. You little sticky wickies, all sticky. So far, no Blastoise, no Pikachu. None of the good ones. Give me the good ones, man. I'm not going deep for no reason. Oh, what we got? Oh, it's Poliwag. Damn it, I thought it was Charmander. I played myself. I got very excited there. Poliswag. Come on, we gotta have Charmander, though. We're literally pulling all the bad Pokemon right now. Zubat, Poliwag, Kakuna. <laughs> I'm killing myself over this. It's gonna be sad if this is a bad box. I've opened quite a few boxes and pulled the Charizard a lot of times, so... You get used to it, you know what I mean? You get used to it. You're like, yeah, I'll just open the bag, I'll pull myself a Charizard, like it's easy. Then you start going for it, and you're like, oh, wait, this is difficult. Oh, Sandshrew. Sandshrew does not go for a lot, even though he's very adorable. Somebody explain it to me. I don't understand it. He's so cute. Sandshrew, you sand attack. All right, here we are. You're going to use Sand Attack 20 times in a row, so your level 100 Blastoise can't hit him anymore. Come on. Next Boofta. This is expensive. If you guys are enjoying this, let me know. Interact with that video, man. Because if you don't, I'm out of here. I'm never making this again. Here we are. Open this on TikTok. <laughs> the Chinese win. They said, I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better. We are, we got Polly Whirl, another useless pull. Wow, we really are just pulling only the bad pulls right now. That's okay, I have Pokey Faith, even if you don't. Ooh, there's a non hollow Charizard. Now, I promise you, we've already passed up a few of these, we just haven't been checking for them. Uh, but since we've found one, so that's a red logo Charizard. How cool is that, man? That's neat. Everyone loves Charizard. Mom, come on, I want Charizard. That's because Charizard's way better than Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes, Stinky Dragon. I'm just teasing you, Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Well, if I got a Hollow Polyrath, that'd be okay at this point. Ooh, because then I'd have the whole collection. Send them all in together. Nido King, he does okay. He's on the lower end. Yeah, he's on the lower end when it comes to Topps card values. Um, but he is not at the bottom, so he's like the upper end of the lower end. He's the best of the worst. Poliwhirl, on the other hand, real bad. Poliwhirl, Poliwag, nobody wants them. Uh, they do, but they don't want to spend more than like 100 bucks on them. But, you know, you got Nido King, they might spend like 120, 140. Those extra 20 bucks add up. They add up. <laughs> Another one? Whoa! Double Charizard, what does it mean? If this was a TikTok video and we pulled two Charizards like that in a row, everyone would be screaming, fake, resealed, bro. Nobody believes that maybe there's just two Charizards in a row. It's totally impossible that that could happen. That never happens. Now, what is going on here? That is a different texture again. What texture is this? This is a black label, and it has kind of like the teardrop uh, texture. That's very fascinating. I feel like I'm learning things about Topps cards right now. And all it cost me was multiple thousands of dollars. Okay, so Brock, we don't care about him because he does not have breasts. Brock, more like losing me money. 
So, so far, oh, my lamp's gonna fall over, guys. So far, we have done terribly. I don't think we've pulled a single high value card, except for that Bulbasaur that was pulled before I decided to make this video. Should've just stopped at the Bulbasaur. What do we got? No, that's, that's fine, because I want to go all the way through this and get that Charizard. You guys are on the journey with me now. That's going to be Meowth. My wife's a fan of Meowth, because she likes cats. Crazy cat lady. Here we are. Boy, she's going to be a crazy cat lady if she don't learn to shut up. <laughs> here we are. Meowth. Tell her I'm taking my pokies and I'm out of here. She'll get 20 cats. She probably would. If I died early from heart disease from all the sitting I'm doing, she probably saw off of my cards. And then she just used the money to buy more cats. That is probably exactly what she would do. That is probably exactly what she would do. She would have 20 cats. She'd be like, ah, finally. No more men in my life causing me troubles. All they want to do is buy Pokemon cards. Is that a Misty? All right, so the card says Star You. But it has a Misty on it. Not bad. Well, these are coming out real clean, aren't Don't you guys agree? Look how clean these are. These are crazy clean. Think any of them got a shot at 10? Yeah, I'm going to send these off to Tops, see what they what they have to say about it. Did I say Tops? Send these off to uh, PSA and CGC. That's what I meant. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Ooh. I don't want to cause any bent corners. There we go. Jesus. That pack didn't want to come out. There it is. Bell Sprout. Oh, my back's hurting already. I still got to go live, dude. What happened to me? I thought I was young and spry. What am I, like some kind of boomer? Dude, I never go into this freaking sleeve, man. Oh, I'm going to leave a fingerprint on it. There it goes. God, it's so, so freaking annoying. All right, we got Bell Sprout. Literally, we are pulling every bad card in the set. Where are the good cards? The cards that make you go, oh, I like Pokemon. Where's my Pikachu is what I'm saying. I want my Pikachu. The frick? You're not making any money on Bell Sprout. Oh, my God. Victory Bell. Pshh. And it's got a big ding on it. That's no good. Let me look at this box real fast. How did it get that? The box doesn't have messed up corners. So the when uh, this card must have been dinged like this during manufacturing. That's why I have to conclude. Bet you if we look at the cards beneath it, they don't have a ding on them. That's right. Just nice clean corners on them. So what happened was the holographic sheet, when it was being handled by the workers, it got dinged. But that's what that means. I'm going to replace all these common commas to the side. You know, the common commas are like in near perfect condition with real pointy corners. They would make, uh, we, you know, we're not going to put this in the Pokey Bros. That one's going to be given away. Uh, the, they would make good pulls for the Pokey Bros because I could tell you many of those have a chance at a 10. I know you guys like those chances at a 10. That's what I like. So you guys like what I like. All right, I get it. It's three from the back. Finally, I see it. Another Misty. Hmm, okay. I see what's going on. Giving me two Star use and no Charizard so far. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not even going to freak out. <laughs> I'm not even going to freak out. <sighs> Here we are. Now, Misty's flying. I just sell it to Cheese. Cheese will be like, is that Misty? I'll be like, it's technically Star you. Cheese will say, take my money. All right, wow, well, we are about two thirds the way through the box. What do we have ahead of us? So three from the back. Tentacool, dude, we're not getting anything, bro. Freaking Tentacool, this is a cold box. This is a cold box, where's Squirtle? Charmander, Charmeleon, Ivysaur, Blastoise, Venusaur, Pikachu, Raichu. Dude, we're not pulling any of those. Arcanine. What else is in this set? I don't remember. 
I know Mewtwo and Mew are not. The ones I mentioned are definitely in here, though. They gotta be in here somewhere. I notice we're also not pulling a lot of the TV show cards. Oh, here we go, just as I say that. We pull one of the least popular ones, and it was sticky on the back. Coughing, wheezing. All right, so that's a little slice of the TV show there. There we go. Some of the TV show cards are better than others. I'd say the coughing, wheezing, wheezing is pretty damn unpopular because, you know, it's coughing and it's wheezing. Coughing and wheezing are strictly not popular. Still going. What if these boxes are mapped? Like, if you can tell right away, if you have a shot at the Charizard. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, this might be big money right here. I know people love these uh, these list cards that show all the uh, all the Pokemon in the box. <laughs> That's gonna be a black label black label list card. Somebody might actually want that for a decent chunk. So this is a good pull, I'd argue. The list card. Okay, I like the list card. Maybe you guys don't. Maybe the community doesn't. I think it's very cool. I like that it features Ash and Friends and a ton of Pokemon on the front. Weird. Wasn't it three from the back? Did it change? Um, did I flip the cards around? That seemed a little bit like three from the front. So there's Arbok and Ekans. Once again, some of the very worst cards you can pull out of this set. Sigh. This box has been terrible, guys. Something tells me I'm not getting no Chowings out. Charizard's not for me, it's for the beautiful people. The special people. The ones chosen by the Pokey Gods. Not little old me. Stinky TCC, just opening Pokemon cards in his basement. I'll just over here. Alright, 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 alright. I'm not giving up. I haven't given up hope. Alright. That's Blastoise. Yes! Yes! All right, Blastoise is a legitimately very good pull, and he could be worth a lot of money if he grades well. I don't know if he will. The pack didn't seem sticky. I'm not seeing any randomly bent corners. This might be a money card. Very good. So now he won't be crazy money. Blastoise is one of maybe the second best card to pull in this set, the Series 1 set. But Charizard is number one, and he's number one by a lot. So people do not want the Blastoise nearly as much as they want the Chowmies out. That's because you're all Charizard sips. But it is what it is. Here we go. Next pack. What if the Charizard was in these two sealed packs to the side? Dude, I'm tempted to go open them. You know why? Because I'm not going to miss Charizard by one pack. Jump off a cliff, man. <laughs> Feel like... Oh, I thought I had a chance at Pikachu. There's Buttfree. <laughs> Another useless Pokemon. Butterfree looks good here, though. Look at that Butterfree. It's beautiful. I like the, what they did with the uh, Darkness Ablaze, Butterfree VMAX. That was really cool. Butterfree and OG. I mean, everyone had a Butterfree, right? You had, uh, what was it, Pokemon Blue or something. You caught a Caterpie and turned it into a Butterfree, and then you're like, all right, Sleep Spore everything. Right? Sleep Powder, I mean. All right, let's see what we got here. Give it a little bend there. Give it the old bendy bend. We'll save these two packs for last. Those two packs are in pristine condition, gradable condition. But if, if it comes down to it, we don't pull Charizard. They're coming open. There's Tentacruel. I personally really like Tentacruel. The rest of the Pokemon community does not care about them. The Aquapolis Tentacruel, one of the best artwork, artworks in the whole collectibles, card collectibles economy if you want to call it i don't know yes sir tentacle tentacruel is very cool he looks like an alien or something they did such a great job with his design like his little claw too in the middle okay here we are here we are tentacruel it is i think that's gonna be like hitmonchan or machamp or something in the back that there it is machamp how did i know it's because i saw the colors there's only a few things it could be Machamp, um, you know, he's just not very popular. That's the truth. Machamp does not do well. I've never sold an expensive Machamp. I know in the gym series, he's not very viable. 
in the base set. Everyone had one. Maybe that was why he was, nobody grew on him, you know, because you got one guaranteed if you bought the starter set, the starter, you know, guide for playing the game, the card game. Everybody had a first edition Machamp, and he became one of the most overgraded cards in the world. And I think that spills over even to really nice Machamps. Man, there's Need Arena. Ooh, it's looking bad, guys. So we're nearly done. No Charizard has shown up. We've got one Blastoise. No Charmander, no Pikachu either. This box is looking like a wash, man. It's looking like a bad box. Looking more and more like a bad box. Now, it's not over until every single pack is open, right? It's not over until every single pack is open. Looks like we might have about four packs left in the empty box. The soon-to-be empty box. Venonat. But there's 36 packs in a box, but there's far more than 36 Pokemon that you can pull from the set. So that's going to be Persian. It's again, not a super popular Pokemon. My wife likes Persian a lot because she's a cat lady. She's a cat lady waiting to happen. She's one breakup away from being a cat lady, I swear to God. So watch yourself. All right, there we go. And what do we got over here? That's a Weedle. Okay. Need a ran. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. This is going to be a tough box. I'm feeling the pressure. We did pick up Blastoise. We did pick up Bulbasaur. No Pikachu, though? Man, Pikachu is such a solid pull from this set. And no Charizard, which is really the chase pull. You know, if I wasn't going to have Charizard, I would hope to have Pikachu. But to miss both of them? To miss both of these? All right, we have a total of four packs left. Two in the box and two sitting on the table to my side. Come on. Give us some Pokey love. Is that Pikachu? Oh, my God, they're sticking a little bit. <gasps> is that Pikachu? No, it's Venonat. Oh, you play with my heart, Pokemon. Venonat, my schnutzel. Give me a Pikachu hollow. You kidding me? Venonat. This is like a $20 PSA 10. Venonat, kill me, dude. Basically a wasted pack. I'm going to cry. Man, I got to get another one of these boxes from that. Whoever I bought this guy from. I got to ask him <laughs> if he's got any more. He's got maybe the hookup because this box has been a banger when it comes to the quality. Hardly any stickiness. Have you guys seen that? Now, maybe that's because of the later print run. I don't know. Maybe the early print runs weren't done with high quality. Who knows what the reason is. All right, bottom of the box. Last pack in the box. To grab ourselves a Charizard. Venomoth. I think it's Venomoth. Venomoth, guys. <sighs> well, we got Venonat, Venomoth. So, you know what this means, right? I like Seal Boosters, but you know what I like better? Pulling Charizard. These very gradable boosters are getting opened. That's right. There's no way. No way we're keeping them sealed when there's a chance that there's a Charizard sitting them and that Charizard could be a 10. You know, if I got a 10 of this, this Charizard, I'd be so excited. I'd just keep them in my collection. I wouldn't even want to sell them. So here we go. Pack number one. All right, if not Charizard, there's Pikachu and Venusaur as well. We didn't pull hardly any of the really good cards were pulled. No way. Oh my God, it's Need Arena, dude. Dude, I'm choking over here. I'm choking. All right, Nidorino. Pokemon's killing me right now. Nidorino, obviously, it's not popular. Somebody collecting Nidoran, Nidorino, and Nidoking, or Nidoking, they'll buy him as a set. But nobody goes out of their way to buy Nidoran. Psyduck, we also didn't pull Psyduck. That's another good point. Oh, my freaking God, dude. <laughs> We would end up on a on a weeping bell. So none of the bonus packs that were, by the way, very gradable had anything good in them. And weeping bell chose to spit, not swallow. 
That feels like this booster box in a nutshell. I kid though, because all these cards really are in great condition. The truth is, I think that they will easily turn a profit. Um, however, uh, not the profit I was hoping for, but really what I was hoping for was a very collectible Charizard Hollow. So you guys ready for this? Here goes. Nidoran, Persian. Machamp's cool. Butterfree. I like Butterfree. This sucks. That one's okay. Meowth is okay. Nido King is okay. Polyrath. I like Saint True, but the community doesn't want to pay money for him. Zubat sucks. Here is... Wait, we pulled Squirtle? I don't even remember this. All right, the box isn't that bad. We got Squirtle, guys. Caterpie, Wigglytuff, Weeping Bell, Nidorino, Venomoth, Venonat, Nidoran, Tentacruel, Blastoise. So what I'm thinking about with this box is we got War Turtle, we got Squirtle, and we got Blastoise. That means Charizard's in another box, right? Probably the one after this one. So yeah, some cold Charizards. They're, they're cool because they're red label. Sand Slash, why aren't you more popular? Bulbizor. All right, that's it. What do you guys th think? Do you think I did well there? Um, there is the bulk over here. That's all the bulk. I question what to do with it. I could front the money to have it all graded. I probably should. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably meticulously sleeve every single one of them, place them into a holder, and I will wait for some kind of price special at PSA, and then I'll send them all out at once. Uh, but not right now because the price is too high without a doubt. All right, that was one whole box of Pokemon Tops. Tell me what you guys think. Do you want more of this? Let me know in the comment section. See you guys.